Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. I want to put a little short video out on medical supplies. If you're worried about what's coming in the SHTF, you need a little bit more than just band-aids, a box of band-aids and maybe one roll of gauze or whatever. You need to get your medical preps in order. I'm really not where I want to be but I'm getting there. So today I wanted to just show you a few things that I have, have already set up in my second pantry um, of all the different medical supplies that I have. I guess we'll start with the top shelf. I started moving all of this stuff from different areas so I can get it all organized in one central location. Just in case we need to go and find something, we know where it's at. So, on the top shelf, I have my hydrogen peroxides, as you can see. We have a supply of those. And you know, some may think that I don't have enough, or maybe I just have too much. But we'll show you what we have. We have those. This can I just put here. That's not where its true home is going to be. This is my burn gel, just for like burns and everything. A few more of the smaller hydrogens. I got some alcohol bottles here, just put on the shelf. I have others, but that's all I have in this row. Well, I have some of the saline uh, solution. Uh, we have some wound wash here. Move to the back some more of the alcohols. Let's see what's back here. Oh, let's see. what. All of these are like, I think, nasal spray. Yeah, that's what that is. Uh, another nasal spray. Because, you know, with... What all happened 2019, 2020, we pretty much stocked up with a lot of this stuff. So we got that there. We have more of the NyQuil medicines. And Kelly picked up these two jars somewhere. Uh, one says applicators, one says bandages. So in the applicator bottle, b jar, I went ahead and put some cotton swabs and a few little gauze sponges. I'll move this jar back, get it out of the way. These here I get on Amazon. It's the same thing like getting Robitussin at your store. The little bitty small bottle that you pay $8 and something for, uh, let's say a Walmart, you can get this 16 fluid ounce for almost the same price. So we picked up a couple of bottles of those. That's part of our supplies in case of uh, something happens with that. Some more burn relief gel. Some more. There's another bottle. Uh, let me move this jar back. I know this video might be a little corny, but this right here is some of my airways for CPR. This is not in the right place. Should be there, so I'm going to move that. Uh, Go Bond body powder. We got some uh, simple, same thing like Betadine solution right here for wounds. We got some milk of magnesia back there. These are a couple of cold packs that I have. Should have more of these. This is not all that I want, but we're we're getting there, I think. A couple of bottles of witch hazel. Uh, we have some um, calamine lotion as well. Four bottles of that. Because if you're going to be outside quite a bit, if something ever happens and you're dealing with wood and cutting wood or whatever, you need some kind of lotion that's gonna protect you if you get some kind of bites or anything of that nature. This is what you need. Stool softeners, some more nasal spray, kind of went overboard with that. Uh, chest rubs, um, you can get the one from Walmart, the Equate, um, it works the same way. Vaseline petroleum jelly is a good uh, thing to have. Um, also, you can put that on on bandages, and if you need to make some type of quick chest seal, that's something that you can use for any type of wounds. And there we're at the second shelf. That's kind of how it's situated. Um, what I have there is the BP cup, one of the automatic ones. I do have the manual BP cup with a stethoscope that I can use. Uh, this little box here, Kelly picked this up somewhere. I'll show you what I did with it. 
in the top part um, I have a couple of rows of gauze tape and some scissors guys those scissors are great I'll show you what the bottom looks like and in the bottom I have band-aids a uh, bleed stop and also a thermometer so what I I'm not finished putting this little box together but this box is going to kind of be like a go-to that I tell my kids to go and get or whoever just in case um, you know minor wound issues or anything like that they have some place to go to where they don't have to dig for everything so making something like that a little quick pack or a little quick bag that somebody can access like a first aid kit is good if they need more then they can go to the other stuff in this case there's a cpr mask by mcr medical uh, it's pretty handy it's small you can put in a uh, like a trouser pocket or you know it's not doesn't take up a whole lot of room so you can find a place with that so with me having the training that i have i also have airways so i purchased these airways um from lightning next products and there's different sizes for adults and children so that's there as well in case needed and behind there in that box is actually some face masks and these two little containers come in handy. Found a place to use them for. And inside here is all my tapes and wraps. So I put that in here to where it's compartmentalized. That If we need it at home, we have it. Now, the reason why I have all this stuff, you know, you got to think ahead. And one of the things that I try to think ahead, okay, so if it really does get that bad and there's no doctor, what can I do myself that I can, you know, uh, take care of an issue that might be at hand. So I'm still doing that. I'm still thinking out, trying to think out the box. What what can I use that I'm qualified or what do I need to train myself on to where I can use? So having extra tapes is going to be a, be a plus. Having extra gauze bandages. Just one box of gauze bandages will not do the trick just for one wound. And one wound you might have to keep cleaning and changing and changing so it's uh, very important to get a lot of this stuff so I think I'm good on the tapes for now and then in this box I just have a multiple amount of different items um, I do have some more 4x4s four because if somebody's searching for something I want to make sure that they can grab something if they're not in the right box if time time is of the essence so I'll put that in here um, I do have some splints for you know possible fractures or injuries uh, it also gives you instructions of what you need to do and how to do it on the splint itself um, I have uh, some finger splints and a couple of cough drops if you need some more finger splints um, well I got some mixed uh, sutures that are in this box because I probably didn't have room where I have the others uh, different different little boxes of forceps, uh, compression gauzes. Um, here's some more suturing equipment. There is a snake bite kit in here as well. Uh, a few military uh, bandages uh, in here too. Insect bite. We have these two that we picked up. Um, this here is going to be uh, just a wound dressing. What else I got in here? Uh, another wrap is in here. Just a place that I can put all of this stuff. So that's what's in this box. We'll move on. Pick this little up from my medic. This is the super skin pack, which has a number of the different large bandages. Um, it comes with... Um, Let's see here if I can catch it. It comes with a one 2x4 bandage, one 2x2 two two gauze pad, um, an antiseptic towelette, and a triple antibiotic ointment. So it's a neat little pack. puts everything together for you. So I do have that as well. This container here has a number of different flu uh, liquids that you can use. Mucinex, Theraflu. I've got some Advil, Tylenol, a number of different things inside that box. And something to think about 
is if you're going to be out in the sun, put you something on after sun gel. This is uh, the banana boat. We have a couple of bottles of, they're not the same uh, manufacturer, but it's going to be the same thing that you're going to get out of it. Another burn relief gel. Uh, another burn. So as you can see, this is my burn area. Um, trying to put these all in the same place. Uh, pain reliever spray, and here's another one. Um, some more of that powder, backwoods uh, insect repellent. Um, you can see the uh, elderberry syrup as well, some alocaine, a lot of different uh, nasals and clear eyes, visine. I also have an ice bag back there as well. You know, kind of like the old days when they used to just shove uh, ice inside a bag. We picked that up at a garage sale. You can see that price on there. It was like two bucks. So that was a good deal. Hanging on this thing is actually uh, uh, to check your pulse, your heartbeat, and your oxygen level. It's an oximeter. So that hangs there. It works well. Medications. Don't throw your medicines away. If you have medicine, keep it because you may need it. Maybe the strength of it might lower a little bit in a long time, but if you check out Dr. Bones, he can explain. He's got a few videos about what he feels about getting rid of medication that you may have. This here is my suture box as well as scissors. I have a lot of different forceps, a lot of different clamps. Uh, these scissors here. This here to remove staples. If you have, if you've um, needed to staple up a wound, I also got some of these um, staplers. I've got two sterile staplers in here. Um, let's see what else is in here. Um, a few little shot needles for pain relief. Before you do any type of stapling or suturing, I do have suturing bags. I I can suture. I know how to do it. If you don't know how to do it, you know, there's a way to, uh, to get practice in that. Learn how to suture wounds because you may have to because their doctor might not be around. This is just, I put this box here. This is my vitamins. I'm probably going to move them because it's kind of not part of what I was trying to go for with all of this. Um, these here, yeah, I wanted one set of uh, goggles here just in case. But I have a whole set of probably six of them inside this pack so that probably needs to move as well this is just uh you know that test so that's what that is and thermometers when we picked up thermometers we have a little box set up for our thermometers um if we need them and i do have them in all of my bags as well okay so we'll go down to this section and this is what i'm talking about bandaging currently right now this goes all the way back to the wall Surgical dressings. I got a lot of boxes of rolled gauze, uh, wound care kits. Some of the stuff I picked up at Walmart. Um, if you see them, you know, pick you a box up at a time. You don't have to buy all of this at once. And I didn't either. I picked up, you know, one box at a time when we go shopping. I did put a bleed stop right here just in case it's up in the front. So it's quick access if you have a heavy bleed or something that you need to try to stop. Um, you have the band-aids. There's band-aids back there as well. Um, more gauze bandages here. This is a pretty neat little kit as well. I'll show you. As it says, it's infection control kit. Aids in rescue and cleanup. Um, this bag's from Z Medical. I did add some other stuff to it. I hope you get to see this. I got it sideways. Uh, this right here is some 4x4 four four gauze pads that I put in here. I got a bag of gloves. Uh, I think there's probably about seven pairs in there. Um, there's an infection, infectious spill kit. There's another infectious spill kit. Then there's a bodily fluid disposal kit. This is a big box. It has a, everything that you need for that. I did throw in some tape. There's also... Um, a small miniature it's a PAM 2 it's an airway mask so I got that in there as well so that's what's in that before I put the bag back where it was that's some more gauze bandages sitting in here 
And let me get that in here. And this is just a um, first aid kit. It's never been open. Well, it's been open once. Nothing's been moved around in it. So it's got, you know, even if you have this, it'll help aid in things that, um, minor injuries and stuff. So it's good to have something. That even at, at this little amount, you should have at least that. This is just a something that we used one time. So um, it's good for your hands or wrist if you have an injury. This box has all our ointments, triple antibiotic ointments, um, tenactin. I have some, uh, I had a prescription for um, a salve that's back there for like if you get a rash on your finger that can't go away, well, they tried this, it worked. So I had three prescriptions to fill, so I filled them all, and they all sit inside that box just in case. Let me move this one out the way. This box here has all of my needles. There's different sizes in here for different situations. And the box down here just shows all of the different extra vitamins that I have. This one and that one. Another bag of what's left for the uh, for the cotton. This bag I still need to get fixed up. This is pretty neat. Little first aid kit. You can get them online. It has three compartments on it. Uh, it's a military first aid kit. So I have one in one of my vehicles already full. I have another one that I bought. I bought from uh, Dr. Bones. He has a pretty neat bag. It's really awesome. And that's my old trauma bag that I used to keep with me all the time in the profession I was. So in here, there's still stuff in it. Uh, I got some neck braces in here, a number of different things. Uh, one of the things that I'm wanting to get is an Ambu bag. Uh, some people may know what that is. If you just search AMBU and then bag, it's kind of like a, it's a bag that you can uh, use to perform CPR. So you're not doing like a mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR and you also can hook up an oxygen tank if you need. So that's it in a nutshell, guys. Uh, hope that you enjoyed the video. It may have given you some insight on what you can do. I know that I need more, a whole lot more, but this is where I am currently. So... Uh, get your medical equipment together. If you really feel that something's about to happen and we're not going to have access to doctors, then get your stuff together. Stay well, stay safe. Always remember to prepare for the, un for the unknown. And remember to like and subscribe. If you're not a subscribed member, please, we'd love to have you. Y'all stay safe, guys.